ผู้ชมครับเดี๋ยวช่วงนี้นะครับจะพาไปฟังดูภาพรวมกันหน่อยว่าตลาดรถบรรทุกของทั้งโลกเนี่ยนะฮะโดยเฉพาะช่วงไตรามาสแรกที่ผ่านมาตลาดไหนโดดเด่นตลาดไหนซบเซาและตลาดไหนที่ถือได้ว่าเป็นดาวที่จะพุ่งมาแรงในช่วงนี้เพราะว่าทางผู้บริหารสูงสุดนะครับของบอวอกรุ๊ปได้เดินทางมาเยือนเมืองไทยและผมก็มีโอกาสไปสัมภาษณ์พิเศษมานะครับมิสเตอร์โอล็อกเพอร์สันนะครับค่ะติดตามได้ในบทสัมภาษณ์พิเศษชิ้นนี้นะคะแล้วก็เราสองคนและทีมงานลากันไปเลยค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ Your global sales in the first quarter in 2013. In, in the first quarter, we have had um, a sale in, in the group which has been affected, I would say, of the general uncertainty in many markets. But it's interesting to note that some regions, uh, the Southeast Asia, for instance, and, and Thailand, showed a good development during the first quarter in terms of the sales. And um, it, it's, um, it's good to see because uh, we are investing a lot in Thailand. Uh, we are investing in products, we are mm -hmm. investing in uh, production, we are also investing in our sales work, but most all and above all, we are also investing in our people and, and employing new people here as well. What about the USA market and the Europe market? I think that both the Europe market and the, and the U.S. market has, uh, in the first quarter, been characterized by uncertainty uh, when it comes to the macroeconomics. Uh, but if you look at the total market forecast that we have for this year, we see that it's approximately uh, the same markets between uh, 2012 and 2013. That means that economy still don't recover from the crisis, right? I think that what we see is, is uncertainty in the European market. Uh, we see also on, on a macroeconomic level, uh, but also in the US market we see. But, um, um, but there are, as I said, uh, also growth areas. We had in, in the um, Brazilian market, for instance, we saw positive signs and, and also uh, in Southeast Asia. What are the factors that make Southeast Asia market has the highest growth? I think that um, if you look at our industry, it's very much related to the GDP development. And, and what we can see here is that uh, the GDP development in Southeast Asia is still holding up. That means that the need for transport is, is, is there. And that means also that the market for, for trucks is, is good. Please tell us about your investment plan in Thailand. Yes, we, it's very interesting. And, and that's why the reason I'm here, actually, that uh, we have now, uh, over the last years, for the first time in the Volvo Group, developed a new truck range that is developed in Asia. It's developed for Asia and it's going to be produced in Asia. Mm -hmm. um, and that is a complete new range and, and that will be branded the UD truck and we will launch that uh, later this year. And it's actually going to be a worldwide launch here in Thailand, in Bangkok, later this year. Which month in this year? <laughs> we will come back to that. Uh, we, we, will, uh, we will see it, but it will be during the year, uh, and, and we will have the worldwide launch, and it's very exciting. Why do you choose Thailand as your base to export your truck to other countries in ASEAN? There are many reasons. Uh, first of all, I would say that uh, we have been in Thailand for 40 years, mm -hmm. uh, which means that we have built up a very, very long tradition and, and also a very skilled workforce. Uh, we have very loyal and skilled and professional co-workers in, in, in the group. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the best foundation you can have to, to have as, as a center. Then, of course, also in Thailand, you have a big network mm -hmm. of sub-suppliers in autom automotive industry, uh, which also helps, of course. So for us, it was quite natural to use Thailand as a hub for our Asian activities. Thailand has negative factors such as strong baht and increasing in minimum wage. Do these factors affect to your investment plan? No, it, it is not. And, and when it comes to uh, all these kind of uh, regulations or, or, or other things that is, uh, we are following all the, the, the rules and regulations that, that are around and, and we work in that and, and that's not for us to, to, to decide, that's up for governments and we, we are active in 192 countries around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so that's the approach we always take. As an investor, do you think that Thai government should have more incentive for the foreign direct investment? 
uh, that's not for me to comment upon. Uh, the, um, the, the rules that are set by the governments, those we follow. And, and as I said, we have been in, in Thailand for 40 years and, and uh, we, we are very pleased with the development we have seen in, in the market, our products. And, and again, um, the um, skills and the professionalism by M our employees. And yes. with this new uh, effort we're doing with the UD uh, new range, we, we're actually also going to increase our employment. So, so we're going to employ um, approximately 1,000 people here in, in Thailand for this new uh, range that we're doing and all the investments we're doing. In, in total, mm -hmm. we actually have invested uh, 5 billion baht over the last five years here in Thailand. So that shows a lot of confidence. How do you see the competition in Thai market? It's a very tough competition, <laughs> which inspires yeah. us, because that means also that we need to be good. We have to earn the trust of the customer. We need to get the right product, the right price, with the right service. And that's why we're so uh, thrilled mm -hmm. about this new range that we're now coming out with, which will be branded UD. Uh, and, and having this launch here in Thailand. We think it will be a great uh, thing for us to, to also increase our market shares going forward. What are the strengths of UD truck and Volvo truck? I think it's the brands. Uh, the, the Volvo brand is, is, is a brand that is known all around the world, standing for very high quality, safety, careful environment. And then you have UD brand, who has all the Japanese very strong when it comes to quality, durability, uh, innovation. Uh, so both of them are, are very strong brands and, and that's definitely the asset. But the brands are no better than the people who work for it. And, and again, I would like to stress that the, the, the importance of our workforce and our people, uh, our colleagues, that is building the brand and, and that together is our biggest asset. Which market in ASEAN that you think it will be the first market that you will export from Thailand. We will, we will see that. We, we, have, our, we have our plans and, uh, and, and uh, of course we have very detailed plans, yes. but uh, I, w I would like to wait the, the launch event that will come uh, later this year. What are the benefits from being a partner with Dongfeng in China? The strategic alliance that we are now under formation, it, it's, it will be hopefully up and running beginning of next year, giving all the uh, approval that we need to have. It gives two major advantages. One is, of course, that we are, uh, as the Volvo Group together with Dongfeng, can continue to strengthen Dongfeng on the Chinese market. But also together we, we will uh, strengthen Dongfeng as an international brand and also on the export side. Uh, so that is the, the two major advantages we do have. How do you see the Chinese market? Uh, the China market is, if you look at it long term, uh, I, I think that, uh, that uh, the China market is very interesting long term. Then of course you will have ups and downs in the markets like all the other markets, but long term with the, the size of the Chinese market, with the technology that will come in the Chinese market, we believe that it, it will be a very interesting market for, for a long time to come. Recently, Thai government launched a very, very big mega project, value about 2 trillion baht to build infrastructure. Do you think this thing will be a positive factor to your business in Thailand? I think with our product, both with the construction equipment and also with the trucks, uh, that we can contribute to, to the, the development of those infrastructure projects with our products. It, it's very well fitted, we have the ranges. Uh, so of course we, we are happy to be able to support uh, the, the development of those infrastructure products with our, our projects. So yes, it is positive. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you.